catalog these events for you. <laughs> I keep records like a scrapbook would. I know how my mother kept dental records for me when I was an infant, and I know how she always kept a file of all the shots that I had had, and it's like that, I guess, a scrapbook or a photo album, and I could do that with my marriages. But my first marriage was with one, uh, it was one that I actually probably needed, but hindsight is 2020, and maybe I needed counseling more than I needed a husband. <laughs> Forgive me, I was new to this whole attraction and attachment thing, and this commitment thing, but, but I know I got it right when I tried. But maybe it was my fault, and I picked a guy that was just, you know, compatible with me. I mean, he was a great guy, don't get me wrong. He, he wanted to learn from me, and I think he kept me on my toes, but I think he knew it wouldn't work out for us. And so he just waited until I came to that conclusion, too. I don't know what I was going through or why I even went through my second marriage. People think I was crazy for putting up with him, for tolerating him, for including him. But I didn't care, because in my own little way, he was mine. It was a role reversal for me. I was used to being the weak one, you know, in a marriage. I thought it was time, well, this time, I should learn my lesson. I decided when we went out, I decided how much money we would spend, what bars we would go to. I think it all boiled down to me deciding how much fun we would ever have. Maybe he followed me like a puppy dog who was found, just found his best friend and his tongue was hanging out with excitement and he would roll down the window of his car as we'd go to take off. I think the problem was that I wanted this marriage to work but my puppy dog only attempted scraps from under the dining room table and never offered anything in return. And I swear, I wanted something to work. I wanted this to work out for me. And it still pisses me off that in the back of my head, he couldn't think the way I wanted him to. And everything didn't just fall into place. Okay, okay, my third marriage. It seems a bit more stable. I think he is a guy that balances out the two men from my first two marriages. And that kind of scares me. It makes me wonder if there's some woman out there who doesn't have a pot belly <laughs> and has a lot more patience than me. It makes me wonder.